Crime Stoppers is made possible by New Cap Television and is proudly sponsored by Budget Blinds. Call today for your free in-home consultation. And Nairman joins us for our first look at sports and talk about a great start. 12 games in the book so far and a perfect 12-0 record for the Lakeland Wrestlers women's basketball team. Yeah, absolutely. They've been on a tear and they were great last mm -hmm. year. They're continuing that success this year. But right now they're taking a break. All college teams are taking a break as the semester comes to, the clo to a close. Now right now sitting tops in the league, but despite that, still some work to do. Practice took a colorful turn for the Lakeland Rustlers women's team. They traded in a basketball for a soccer ball. A little fun after a big first half of their season. In terms of letter grades, I guess I'd give it an A. I thought we played really well. We came together well as a team. Obviously, there's a lot of things we want to work on still. Defensively, we have a few breakdowns. And offensively, just ball movement sake, sometimes we get a little stagnant. But the girls are playing really well. I'm very happy. And uh, hopefully the second half is as strong as the first half. Heading into the Christmas break, the Rustlers went 12-0. They have outscored their opponents by 300 more points than they allowed. Their offense is clicking, but their defense still needs some tweaking. The girls will be working on their game despite the break. Um, I think we really just have to work on our consistency, and that's something that's going to start in practice throughout the week. I think we kind of struggled with that a little bit. So it'll be consistency during the week and applying the stuff we work on in practice into our games and remaining strong and coming out every game like it's the toughest team we're going to play. First-year player Nike Lee had her challenges coming from the States where the game is played at a higher intensity, but she caught on quick. For the couple 12 games that I've already played, it's, it's getting along very good actually, you know, especially playing with them and understanding like how everybody play. And I think that's the biggest thing, just knowing everybody's roles on the team and what we do best. While they roll through the competition in the first half, there's still work that needs to be done in the second before they prepare to host the ACAC Championships next spring. I just want to see us keep improving. Uh, I thought we took some really big steps in the first semester. Obviously, I'd love to go 12-0, and but I want to win our conference. I want to win Thursday, Friday, Saturday in March and go to nationals. So if we end up losing along the way to learn a lesson, so be it. Um, these girls have been very good at adapting in game. So I thought they've really faced some good challenges during the year and I hope we get some tough ones in the second semester. All right, to hockey, the Bonneville Pontiacs are on the road in Calgary taking on the Mustangs. Yaks coming off a 5-4 shootout loss to the Spruce Grove Saints. Meanwhile, it's been a gong show of a season for the Mustangs. They sit tied for last in the league. They have lost 18 straight games. We'll have a score for you tonight on Late Night. Well, for the Lloyd Mr. Bobcats, if you're not in school or taking college classes, it's recommended that you get a part-time job. For two Bobcat defensemen, they chose a job that's right up their alley. Drew Miller takes a look at two of the Cats' day jobs in this week's Beyond the Boards. It's a different hockey routine for these two Bobcat defensemen. Sharpening skates and stocking shelves is just part of the job for Alex Pernitsky and Cole Josephcheck. The pair work at Factory Sports part time. Uh, well, this one we found it. Like we kind of knew about this job from other teammates in the past working here, and kind of asked if we could work here just because we thought it'd be like a nice job, fun job. Working at a sports store that sells hockey equipment made training easier for the pair. Exactly, it's nice, like because you know more stuff about the sticks or the skates and like you know how like I already knew how to sharpen skates which is a bonus like really helped them and yeah it's nice for sure like knowing everything that's in the store. I know quite a bit about all the hockey equipment except for goalie stuff I don't know anything about that. While getting a job is recommended by the team hockey is still their full-time commitment. It's hard sometimes because um, like you want to work most days you can to make as much money and you you can't work every day obviously and there's lots of days that you think you can and then all of a sudden something comes up and you can't work. Manager Taylor Holton is happy to have two dedicated employees. They're both a big part of the community obviously with the Bobcats um, and this year especially uh, with the RBC Cup it's nice to have some presence in the store and customers recognize them and it's nice. And at the end of the day a little competition between teammates even makes its way off the ice. I'm just quicker and Definitely customers have came up to me and told me I'm quite a bit better. But <laughs> Drew Miller, New Cap Sports.